so hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you welcome back once again to another session of pib 247 in this session guys we are going to discuss some more important questions from the pib news which are relevant for all the government exam all right guys but before we begin uh, let me discuss one thing here in the previous section i have received a comment from yogita rawat she was saying that uh, once again yes she was saying that uh, how to cover PIB, you have only done 5 news in PIB, but PIB mein there are more than 100 releases. So let me tell you all of you guys, all the PIB releases are not important for your examination. Alright, and abhi kya hai ki? right now the parliament session is going on. So unnecessary, there are various releases from PIB which are of no use of your in your examination. Alright, so covering those, reading those PIB releases is just wasting. Uh, is just wasting of time, nothing more than that, alright? And aapka wahi waste of time bachane ke liye, these sessions are being conducted by me. So you guys don't worry at all, everything relevant in PIB is, uh, are being covered here. Okay, jitni bhi cheez hai PIB mein hai, sari ki sari cheez hai yaha pe cover ho rahi hai, you guys don't have to worry about that, alright? So let's begin with the session now and before we begin, let me uh, tell you that we have launched this RBI grad, RBI Grade B 2022 crash course for both phase 1 and phase 2. In this uh, course, you can get everything. The entire syllabus is covered in this course. And if you want to enroll in this course, you can download the Anuj in the lab from your Google Play Store where you get all these things. Daily GK and quizzes, exam updates, top of strategies, live video sessions, past year papers, monthly GK, everything you can get at this app. Alright, and if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram ID. And if you want the PDF of this session, if you want the PDF of this session, then you can uh, join the Telegram channel. You can join the Telegram channel, the link for which is provided in the description. Alright, so now let's move ahead with the very first question which says, and in today's session also guys, there are five questions. बहुत छोटे छोटे क्वेश्चन है आज भी कोई बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की उन क्वेश्चंस की जरूरत नहीं है ऑलराइट टू अचीव डैश मेगावाट क्यूमुलेटिव कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम फ्रॉम रूफटॉप सोलर प्रोजेक्ट्स बाय 2022 रूफटॉप सोलर प्रोग्राम फेज 2 वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 2019 बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सो यू हैव टू फिल दिस गैप व्हाट इज द टारगेट क्यूमुलेटिव कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम सोलर रूफ प्रोजेक्ट्स अंडर द रूफटॉप सोलर प्रोग्राम फेज 2 which was launched in 2019 by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. So, uh, as, as it is already mentioned in the question that it was launched in the year 2019, which means it is not a new scheme. It is already under implementation. All right, so let's talk about this scheme. Remember the objective of this scheme, guys, is to achieve 40,000 megawatt cumulative capacity from rooftop solar projects by the year 2022. So that must be the correct answer to our question. 40,000 megawatt is the target cumulative capacity from rooftop solar projects by 2022. It was launched in the year 2019 with two very important components. It's two two important components. Are number one, component A, under which setting up a 4,000 megawatt of grid connected rooftop plants in residential sector is targeted and this will be done by central financial assistance. And what about component B? Under component B, the discoms, that is the distribution companies are provided with the incentives based on achievement of installing rooftop capacity. Jitna zada wo rooftop uh, capacity ko install karenge, utna zada unko incentive milega. Alright, so these are the two important components of this particular scheme. Now let's talk about the central financial assistance which is being provided under this scheme. So for individual households, the financial assistance is up to rupees, uh, is up to 40% of the benchmark cost. It is provided for rooftop solar projects up to 3 kilowatt capacity. While if the rooftop projects is beyond 3 kilowatt capacity and up to 10 kilowatt capacity, the, the financial assistance is 20% of the benchmark cost. All right. In case of group housing societies or RWAs, this CFA or the central financial assistance is limited to 20% for the benchmark cost of the rooftop solar project. All right. So this is the central financial assistance provided in the component A. This is for the component A and component B ka jo incentive ka detail hai, that is quite technical. We don't have to go into the details that much. All right. 
and as per the PIB release, the total solar power installed capacity in the country as on 28 February 2022 was 50.78 gigawatt, including 6.4 gigawatt from rooftop solar. All right, and I hope you all know this that our target is to uh, our target of production of uh, renewable energy is 500 gigawatt by the year 2030. 2030 तक 500 gigawatt का हमारा target है. और ये टारगेट बढ़ता जाता है आई डोंट नो 175 गीगावाट जो था 2022 तक कंप्लीट होना था उसका क्या हुआ उसके बारे में कोई आईडिया अभी तक नहीं है बट यस द गवर्नमेंट हैज एक्सटेंडेड द टारगेट यू कैन से अब बाय 2030 वी हैव टू प्रोड्यूस 500 गीगावाट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ऑलराइट सो आई होप दिस स्कीम इज क्लियर एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन गाइस विल बी 40000 मेगावाट बिकॉज़ दैट इज द टारगेटेड क्यूमुलेटिव कैपेसिटी That is to be produced by the year 2022, which means this year. All right, and who is the Minister of New and Renewable Energy? It's Mr. R K Singh, who is Lok Sabha constituency is Ara, and he is also, of course, the Minister of Power. He is also the Minister of Power. All right, do remember this. Moving ahead to question number two, what target has been set by Ministry of Commerce and Industry, headed by Piyush Goel, for wheat exports in the in this financial year? 2022, 2023. Right? What is the target of wheat exports? Basically, okay. So we are discussing it because recently the merchant ex uh, merchandise exports from India have broken all the records and it has reached to 417.8 billion dollars in one financial year. All right. And India has also achieved highest monthly value of merchandise export in the month of March 2022. That is amounting 40.38 billion dollars. All right. and these two are very important point from the pib release number one engineering goods saw 45.5% growth in the financial year 22 and the wheat exports are likely to exceed 10 million tons in the year in the upcoming financial year jo jo hamara financial year ab start hua hai isme target hai ki jo wheat ke export hai wo 10 million ton se zyada chale jayenge all right and this is very very important they can ask you in your exam theek hai this point is very very important and of course This is also very important. Four seventeen point eight billion dollar. This number you should remember. Okay, that is the value of merchandise exports from India in the previous financial year. That is financial year twenty two. And now let's come back to the question. So the correct answer, guys, will be what option C. Ten million tons is the correct answer to this question. Moving ahead to question number three. With which of the following organizations, Erdai, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, has signed an MOU? for strengthening of interregulatory exchange of information technical cooperation supervisory collaboration for innovative insurance solution so any any mou in any mou news you just have to remember two three things number one between which organizations or between which country the mou has been signed and number two what is the objective of the mou ki uska objective kya hai aur agar fir uske alawa kuch relevant point hoga then i will provide you that relevant point also But other than these two points, no need to go into the details. All right, and Irda has signed this MOU, guys, with IFSCA. Option B. IFSCA is headquartered in Gandhi Nagar, which is of course in Gujarat. And who is the chairperson of IFSCA, by the way? Injeti Srinivas. Injeti Srinivas is the chairperson of IFSCA, and Gandhi Nagar is the same place where DEF Expo 2022 is going to be held. All right. So option B is the correct answer. And talking about Irda. So it is headquartered in Hyderabad. It is headquartered in Hyderabad, and uh, the newly appointed chairperson is Mr. Devashish Panda. Devashish Panda is the chairperson of AI. So option B is the correct answer. And now let's talk about question number four. Which state has announced first scheduled caste star award two thousand and twenty two to honor individuals from SC community for their achievements and contribution? In their field of expertise, very important question. You can expect a question from this because ये बहुत ज़्यादा news में भी नहीं था और आपको फंसाने के लिए इस तरीके के question exam में पूछे जा सकते हैं. So this state guys is Goa. Option E. Goa has announced to give first uh, first edition of Scheduled Caste Star Award 2022 to honor to honor the individuals from SC community and uh, basically the teachers will get the awards, the musicians will get the award. All right, so other professionals in various fields will get these will get these awards. All right, so Goa is the correct answer. Pramod Savant, 
प्रमोद सावंत इज दी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गोवा ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेयर हैज अंजुमन ए इस्लाम यूपीएससी अकेडमी हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स हेडेड बाय मुख्तार अब्बास नकवी मुख्तार अब्बास नकवी इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू द आंसर उसके बाद लेट मी आई विल गिव यू द डिटेल्स सो अंजुमन ए इस्लाम यूपीएससी अकेडमी हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड इन मुंबई ऑल राइट रिमेंबर इट इज अ रेजिडेंशियल ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम फॉर सिविल सर्विस इट इज अ रेजिडेंशियल ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम फॉर सिविल सर्विस एंड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर मुस्लिम ठीक है ये किस किन के लिए है मुस्लिम के लिए नाम से क्लियर है एंड इट इज बींग फंडेड बाय द सेंट्रल वर्क फॉर बोर्ड सेंट्रल वर्क फॉर बोर्ड विच वर्क अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी कमीशन अंडर द सॉरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स के अंडर ये काम करता है and guys let me take, give you one additional information here so during the launch during the inauguration of this upsc academy the minister of minority affairs mukhtar abbas nakvi talked about a scheme pm vikas pm vikas scheme ki inhone baat kari aur inhone ye bola that pm vikas is under implementation since 1st april 2022 since since 1st april 2022 and this scheme is uh, has the objective of social of uplifting the socio economic status of the minorities theek hai now i don't know since ab ye first ye keh rahe hain ki first april 2022 se ye scheme implemented hai then where is the pib release of this scheme and where is the uh, official document of this scheme so i don't know ki wo kaise keh rahe hain aur kyun keh rahe hain but keh rahe hain to of course government leke aayegi kyunki kuch time pehle month of march mein bhi inhone bola tha ek release mein कि यस द पी एम विकास हैज बिन अप्रूव बाई दी कैबिनेट सो इट विल सून बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड अब ये कह रहे हैं कि फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2022 से हमने इसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर दिया है बट अभी तक कोई ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट नहीं है इसका लास्ट टाइम जब ये आया था लास्ट टाइम जब इसकी न्यूज थी पी आई बी में देन देन आई थॉट दैट ओके वेन एवर दी ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट बी आउट वेन एवर इट विल बी रिलीज ऑफिशियली देन आई डिस्कस इट विद यू बट नाउ द मिनिस्ट्री सेंग दैट it is already under implementation since 1st april 2022 but i don't understand where is the official document and where is the official release but i believe they will definitely come out will uh, come out with official document and once the official document is out i'll discuss the scheme with you all right uh, just remember till now uh, that pm vikas is being implemented by the ministry of minority affairs and the objective is to uplift the socio economic status of the minorities so here the correct answer is what option a mumbai all right So that's it for the session today guys I hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and let me repeat this that you go you you do not have to waste your time in reading all the PIB releases that is you are just wasting your time and nothing more than that have some trust on me I am here for you to cover the PIB uh PIB releases for your RBI for your upcoming RBI grade B exam all right you don't have to waste your time there So thank you so much I'll see you in the next session on Wednesday goodbye take care and god bless